Our in-depth coverage continues tonight as we've been reporting the boiled water advisory affects businesses as well as homes. Now this includes daycares who are being forced to take extra precautions to keep the kids and their care safe. From the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is in Coventry. Well, for a daycare business, having a boil order in effect isn't just an inconvenience. It completely changes how they operate. The kids are outside playing on a nice day, but inside this Coventry daycare, the director is getting ready for a day without water. We are not washing the kids' hands in the sink. We're using the um, sanita sanitizer. I mean, it's, it's tough, but... Parents have to work and they need daycare. Kristen Robio runs All About Kids too. She found out Sunday about the boil order in effect and stocked up on purified water and hand sanitizer. We have sanitizers everywhere in the bathroom, um, in the teacher bathroom, in the infant room, in the toddler room, in the yearling room, in the preschool room. With 25 preschoolers and 15 infants and toddlers to take care of on Monday, she said it was challenging to supervise them not to use the sink water. We can't use our soap dispenses and our water because it's gross. But yeah, it's kind of weird because we're always saying wash your hands with soap and water and now nope, don't use the soap and water. You have to use the sanitizer. Romeo tells Eyewitness News they're prepared for however long this boil order stays in effect. It's going to be tough, but I think we'll get used to it. Um, you know, we'll take all the precautions that we need to. And I talked with directors of other daycares all throughout the area and all of them said they had to make similar sacrifices to stay open. With the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.